This guy left a comment under my why women say they need space when they still want to date you video. And he says, so I got hit with the I need space comment. Three days later, I got a greeting text. I responded the same. Then uh, later she sent me a selfie. So I sent a selfie. The next day I sent her a greeting because she sent one the previous day. She responded with uh, gr uh, this great of a workout she had, et cetera, et cetera. I responded with, that's great. Next day, today, I haven't heard a thing. Now I'm not sure if I should have texted more than that's great. <laughs> Lots to unpack here. So to start off with, the, the fact that the guy got the phrase from the woman that said, hey, I need space, and then he was able to not contact her, and he, she came back three days later, all that worked exactly how it's supposed to. He went, she said, I need space. He went, no contact. And he waited. And the guys, the first time you do this, it's going to feel like, like it's taking so long. Like he says it happened three days later, but that three days can be excruciating because you're thinking it's been, it's been a day. She hasn't talked to me. It's over. It's, she's not going to come back to me. You have to get in the practice of letting women have time away from you and letting them come to you. And I promise you guys, if you start to practice this, the next time a girl says, I need space to you, or just ghost you for a little bit, try not talking to her and just seeing what happens. Like, I know you really want her. I know you're like stressing about, I want this to work out so badly. Both people need to want this to work out in order for it to work out in the first place. And so you trying to uh, persuade her and pressure her to be, to think that way is usually going to result in her wanting to head for the hills. So as you can see from this guy, like I say all the time, leave them alone and they will come to you. So after three days, he got a greeting text. Now, from there, the rest of the way, he made mistakes. Because here's the thing. As I said on this show before, when a woman reaches out to you, that indicates that she's wanting your time and your attention. So even if she went ghost or no contact for three days, at the point that she reached out, that is woman code for, hey, I want to see you. Now, they're not going to say that on the phone because admittedly, if they waited three days to contact you, they're trying to come back in, but they're not sure if like, based on that time away, if you're so mad or upset with them that maybe you don't want to see them now. Maybe you got a girlfriend in that time because you figure she games or whatever. The point is, women think about this stuff too. They're thinking, okay, I want to hit him up. I want to see him again, but maybe I was tripping on that three days and he doesn't want to see me. So I'm just going to reach out with a little note and then that's going to let him know that I want his attention again. Yeah, let's do that. So she'll send something like, hey, hi, what's up, cutie? What's going on? Rarely. In fact, never will you get a text from three days later from her saying, hey, so-and-so, I want to see you again. Let's go out. You're not going to get that text because as a woman, she's still looking for you to lead the interaction to a date. And so when women reach back out to you, this is when you say things like, hey, so-and-so, great to hear from you. Uh, let me know if you're free this week. I'd love to have you come over for dinner. Like super simple, but the point of her reaching out ideally is she wants to see you again. So if, you, if, you, if she reached out and said, hey, so-and-so, what's up? And you just said back, hey, um, I'm doing well. What's going on with you? Just small, small little banter. Oh, I'm doing well. Hope everything's blah, 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 blah. Then you would say, that's great. Things are doing great. Hey, you know what? I'm busy right now, but would love to have you come over this weekend. Let me know if you're free on this day or this day. You know? So you're putting it back on, this is a date. What this guy did, he probably learned from somebody else that you need to mirror women. So if, if she sends a selfie, you send a selfie. She says, that's great. You say, that's great. None of that is getting her over to your place. So the mistake he made was not setting a date and not inviting her over. At the point that she reached out, that's code for, okay, I had my downtime. You gave me space. I appreciate you doing that for me. And now I want to see you again. Please invite me over. At no time is she going to say any of this because she might be slightly embarrassed. But more importantly, she's assuming you as the guy just know to do that. Like women make a lot of assumptions about what we as guys should already know to do. And that's a problem, admittedly, that women have that they need to be coached out of, like assuming that guys know things. They don't. I know it because I wanted to get women and I got tired of not knowing stuff. So I studied extensively to where I can tell you guys that when women are reaching out to you, that's code for please invite me back over to your place or invite me on a date. Just know that going in, right? Now, if you do that, and she gives what the uh, excuse the guy get earlier, like uh, where the girl's like, you know, oh yeah, I'll let you know later on. Then you know, okay, she's just reaching out for attention, at which point, you leave it alone until she comes to you and says, hey, so-and-so, long time, no see what's up. But for the most part, if they're reaching out to you, you invite them over. That's the simplest thing you can do. So in terms of him saying, 
I'm not sure if I should have texted more than that's great. Yeah, you should have been like, that's great. Well, I'm busy right now, but hey, would love to see you. Let me know if you're free. X day, next day to come over. Boom. And then on that point, it's on her. But you always make the invite when they reach back out. All right. And then whatever, for whatever reason she needed space, take that as a sign that whatever you were doing before, it was way too much. Maybe you were texting her too much. You weren't, allow, you weren't allowing her to initiate enough of the text. You were seeing her too often. And just know that when a woman says, I need space, that should be intel. You shouldn't get insulted by that. And the reason, because I've had some guys say, well, if a woman needs space, she should just be able to tell me that. You got to understand, the experience of women is that when they tell guys that they need space, they take it badly. They take it like, oh, she must not like me anymore, when it could just be he was doing the most and she needs time to re reset so it doesn't feel like she's being overwhelmed by your presence. That is not bad intel, but guys take it as such. So take this as intel that whatever you're doing before was too much, either too much texting, too much calling, too much meeting up together, too much talking about sex, whatever. And just know you need to curtail that a little bit and let her be the one that lets you know at the pace at which this is going for her. You know, Let her be the one to reach out more for text than you do. Let her be the one to say, I love you more than you do. Because I, I said before, they feel things three times more. If you're thinking relationships should be 50-50, you are wrong. If you're texting 50% of the time and she's texting 50% of the time, your 50% feels like 150. It is too much. So figure out whatever it was you were doing too much of that made her be like, I need space, and then do less of that, and you will find that she will stick to you like a sucker fish. So hopefully that helps you out. You the bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-class man. You are high-class man. You are high-earning, high-value, high-class man.